Peace. What is up, my family? I am Oneno. Welcome back to the blog. And today's topic is coming to you, I guess, from my intuition. And it's my purpose in recording this video to just channel the message that has been coming through in my meditations and in my intuitions. And what's been coming through for me is I've noticed a definite phase of energy has been completed and another one has begun. The phase that has been completed is the phase of energy where it's much more difficult to stay in touch with the divine self, the divine consciousness, your God self, God within you, source within you. It's been much more difficult in the ages past to maintain that frequency of awareness in your heart on a daily basis. Whereas now, the energy has shifted into a place where if you take a little bit of initiative to get into that place, what welcomes you is a wave of energy that is waiting for you to experience it. So for instance, in my meditation, I was just going through the experience of realizing I've been avoiding my meditation practice for a little while. I teach meditation here on YouTube because I have learned the power of meditation and I love to give that gift to others freely. It's yours to have, it's your birthright in a sense. Um, and I love that I have the gift of transmitting that knowledge forward. But with that, um, I ha at the same time, I have noticed I am having a hard time keeping my own meditation practice on a daily basis. Part of it is because I have, I have gone through the experience now of integrating my meditative state into my waking state. So the need to sit in meditation has become much less for me. But at the same time, I do believe in the power of making the ritual and doing it on a daily basis. And that is where I have not been um, totally fulfilling my daily practice. And so as I sit in meditation today and I, I finally have tapped into that place in me where I am out of my thinking mind, out of my creating mind, my doing mind, and just in my being self, this wave of energy just met me so strong because I do believe that we have made this shift after 2012. We're years beyond 2012 now, and what that means is that the energy is speeding up, and it has reached such a level now where those of you watching that are intuitive light workers, you have gone through this process of intense, mind-expanding awakening. And now is the phase where you need to integrate that back into the daily life. And you have probably already begun this. If I have been getting the messages and I have been changing my behavior in this way, I'm sure there are many others out there that have been getting the messages and also analyzing their behavior in this way. So I make the video to, to just bring a conversation right to the forefront. And um, basically, the idea is that if I go into my phases of awakening to share from there, there was a phase where my whole experience opened up to another level and I became intensely aware of new elements of my world and my reality that I had previously been unaware of. That's the easiest way to say it. And at first, it made my journey very intense and a lot of me wanted to run away from my journey, wanted to run away from reality. And it was mostly because I didn't know how to integrate. I didn't know how to make sense of this internal spiritual knowledge that I have and this external reality which seems to reflect negativity. <laughs> and I, wanted, I need to reconcile the two. I need to remember that they are one reality. They are two mere reflections of one reality. And if, if I am actually perceiving negativity on the external world, it's because I have that negativity within me and I'm working through it. The moment I work through it, it is not that the world will stop displaying it, but my identifi identification with it 
will decrease and I will no longer be charged and therefore I can bring the actual love energy that I have into that situation to transmute the situation. That's really the whole goal. You see, there's nothing, there is nothing scary or secretive about the ideas of alchemy. It is a self-taught metaphysical science, you could call it. And it is just the ability to take a negative situation and turn it into a positive. Um, <laughs> there's so many examples that are popping through my head right now, but uh, it's like learning to see the positive even in the midst of an apparent negative, according to other people. And it might be something as simple as uh, taking a failure in your life, something that you might easily label a failure or something that someone else might have told you you failed on, going into that space and trying to find one lesson that you learned because of that situation. And the moment that you can say you learned something from that situation that will change your behavior in the future and how you go about your life, that is then the piece of gold that you are left with at the end of that experience. And if you have gained something from the experience, then it has not been a true failure. A true failure is when you have nothing to show for the experience you have just gone through. And in fact, you will always have something to show for it if you can find the one lesson that you were meant to learn. And then, like an investor would, I guess, with a, a pure piece of gold, you then invest that. And that's a kind of like crude economic analogy just to say, excuse me, just to say that you need to integrate it. The metaphor of investing is that when you put it into a place where the money can grow, then it will grow. But if you hold it and hoard it, then it will stay the exact same shape that it is today. And so the idea with your lesson, the alchemical lesson, how you transmute something from negative to positive, you go into the negative that where you think there was a failure, you look for the positive inside that negative, you find the lesson, you find the piece of gold, you bring it back with you like treasure, and you invest it, and you integrate it, and then therefore it will multiply. So that good lesson that you learned from the apparent failure inevitably brings more reward to you, not more punishment. And that is the secret of how you transmute the negative into the positive. And what I just told you is literally coming from my intuition. It's not something that I've read from a book. It's not something that I've learned from some teacher. I haven't been initiated into any kind of, any kind of society. I am a free and independent spirit. And that is where my information comes from. And this is why I like to make videos, because if you noticed, I'm at about minute nine right now, and in the first minute of this video, it takes a minute for me to get comfortable. But as soon as I begin the flow of this intuition, nine minutes later, I'm speaking of things that I didn't plan on speaking earlier, but they're flowing through me because I am choosing to stay in the energy that is now flowing constantly around. We are in a new dimension. A lot of people like to explain that we are now in the fifth dimension. To me, I use that as a beautiful metaphor to say that we are literally in a new paradigm. We are in a new paradigm where your thoughts manifest in your reality quicker than ever before. And if you are harboring negativity, you will experience more of it. If you transmute your negativity into positivity, you let the negative die and you allow the positive to come towards you. So it does feel like an identity death because you have to let the negativity in your life die, which means relationships might end, situations might need to be finished, contracts might need to be broken, so that you can make the space. And then what will come in is the positive, but you must first make the space. But if you're watching this video, then you identify as a light worker which is just someone that is already doing this type of work. And you have reached a place where you have found the desire to share the light that has blossomed within you with other people and to help 
them grow it for themselves. And so that is why it is even more important for you now to integrate these energies as they come much more easily, embody them in everything that you do and no longer see your practice as something that you have to keep from people, but instead integrate your practice into every activity where you are in relationship with people. That is a big shift in how this energy dynamic will play out from here forward. It will come out in your relationships. It's no longer about being a private spiritual person. It is now about being an integrated, spiritual, moral, loving human being that also stands for truth and wields a sword of fire. And this sword of fire cuts through the ignorance of the people that would try to keep the truth hidden. And that's what I'm doing. I feel like that's what you're doing. I wanted to encourage you along your journey. If you're interested in hearing more, check out more videos here on my channel. Like this video, share it with a friend if you think some other people can connect with this message too. Send it to them. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's links in the description. But until I see you again along the journey, oneness in sound, I am Oneno. Peace.